take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Tunisia not only started the Arab Spring, it is now leading the way in terms of democratic development in the Middle East and North Africa. Whatever the outcome, Tunisia can confidently claim to have handled the aftershocks of the Arab Spring better than any other country in the Middle East and North Africa. Make your mark, take our lead. While most modern-day Tunisians identify as Arabs, Tunisian ancestry is mainly derived from native Berber groups, with substantial Phoenician, Punic, Arab and Western European input. Tunisians are also descended, to a much lesser extent, from other African, Middle Eastern and or European peoples. Take our lead. Arabic. Tunisia. Official languages. Official language. Standard Arabic is the official language, although the Tunisian Arabic dialect, Daraja, is used in everyday communications. Other languages spoken. The vast majority, 98%, of the population speaks Arabic. About 1% speaks Berber. French is also widely spoken by Tunisians. Take our lead. Among Tunisia's tourist attractions are its cosmopolitan capital city of Tunis, the ancient ruins of Carthage, the Muslim and Jewish quarters of Jerba, and coastal resorts outside Monastir. According to the New York Times, Tunisia is known for its golden beaches, sunny weather and affordable luxuries. Make your mark, take our lead. While much of Tunisia is safe to visit now, including the capital Tunis and much of the north of the country, much of the south and the western border is still considered dangerous for tourist travel, because of terrorism or military operations. Within 20 kilometers of the rest of the Libya border area north of Dehiba. Let's help you make your mark. The French have also been in Tunisia for a while and Tunisia finally got their independence from France in 1956. This is why some people tend to look more like Europeans especially in the north-like areas like Bizerte or Carthage where people usually have blonde or light brown hair and blue, green eyes. Make your mark, take our lead. Tunisia is perhaps most famous for its wide array of historical attractions, including the ancient city of Carthage in Tunis, and the huge amphitheater of El Gem near Sousse, which show off the influences of various civilizations that have settled in the country over the years. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.